can honestly say the aesthetics of Nurgle gross me out, but I do admire their tankiness, and if they had just a little bit more speed, I'd probably play the crap out of this faction. Today I've got a Domination replay. This one's probably going to be a little bit quick, but it really illustrates a matchup that I think is going to benefit greatly from the new Chaos Warriors DLC coming out. So we have a Slanesh army versus Nurgle. Slanesh has opted for a couple Marauders, some spawn of Slanesh, and then just some cheap, I want to say, Cav, what is this? Marauder, oh no, just more Marauders. Dotted about, okay, so we do have a couple Seekers and Hellstriders of Slanesh. The thing is, Slanesh is very, very squishy, and Nurgle is very, very tanky. Now, Nurgle's also crazy, crazy slow, and Slanesh is crazy, crazy fast. In the upcoming DLC, both these factions are going to get things they're missing. Slanesh is not only going to get um, some tanky armored units, they're also going to be getting, I believe, ranged cavalry, which is just huge because they don't have any ranged pieces at all. Uh, Nurgle, on the other hand, is going to get the same kind of thing, ranged cavalry, I believe armor piercing, and also great weapon uh, chaos warriors, which give them much needed armor piercing. As it stands right now, the matchup, I think, leans very heavily towards Nurgle. Maybe if you're a super duper micro heavy player, very, very good at the game, you can make uh, this matchup work for Slanesh. Maybe it even can favor at points. But from my experience, it goes the way of Nurgle almost every single time, specifically in um, Domination. Whereas, I don't know, land battle is actually probably just as bad. Though I can say I, I don't have as much experience with that one. Nurgle is a pretty uh, fun faction for me to play on land, or sorry, on domination specifically. I love their holding power. I've got right now a bunch of plague bearers, and then I believe the festering stooges is what they're called, the ROR uh, exalted plague bearers. And it's just a big grind kind of center here that I want to take point two on. I'm not too worried about point three, uh, but point one over here, I do have even more Plague Bearers. I start, I open with Plague Bearers because they're so slow. 27 speed is abysmal. But luckily at the beginning of the game, there's about two to three minutes. I guess it's, it's three minutes right now. It'll eventually be two minutes till objectives open. And that gives you kind of the needed time you, you need to get those Plague Bearers in place. Slanesh has no worries at all when it comes to speed. They can get there whenever the heck they want. So I think, Ideally, if I were to play Slanesh, I would want to be fighting Nurgle off the point. I'd want to try and put my spawn and marauders right here. Not saying that this would actually go well. This fight is extremely weighted towards me at the moment, although we have a really beautiful cast coming in from Nikari, who's taken a ton of uh, basically all the ammunition from these Festering Stooges. They actually deal a whole lot of damage in ranged attacks. That's going to deal a huge hurt to him, but Festering Stooges have a very, very good regen ability here. When they're in melee, it's a 0.1%, and they are extremely difficult to kill. As you can see, he is just struggling to finishing him off. Their HP is just going up. I think I did just cast a... Yeah, yeah, I've cast a Fleshy, fleshy Abundance. So he is not going to kill him there. They're just kind of keeping him busy, and that's going to go super well for me. Over here, 0.3 is being taken by Slanesh. However, I've got a bunch of Nurglings. Nurglings have the capture weight to steal this, and so it's a little bit of a jerk move, I think, but I'm really not going to win. I'm not coming to win. These are uh, anti-infantry marauders, and Slanesh has the idea to try and stop him. He sees this coming, so I'm going to make Chaos Furies just slow him down all the more, and I'm going to start taking away this point. I've got both point two and one. No surprises there. Two's been a little bit of a scrap. He's got some cavalry. Uh, Chaos Nurgles, <coughs> or sorry, Chaos Furies of Nurgle are an extremely good fur uh, fury. They have poison, magic attacks, and they can just kind of sit. Let's see. Passive, yeah, Cloud of Fable Eyes. And nine melee defense. The the thing that hurts furies the most is the fact that they have such low melee defense, and this really helps those uh, furies stick around that much longer. As you can see, they're over here just making Nakari's life the worst. We're taking this point, and, and Slanesh really should be getting these infantry units on the point. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it here in time if he sees this and moves them in. But the good news is I've got these two points, and that's what really matters. Slanesh is doubling down, really trying to take point one away from me. Something that you don't want to happen. I can't really see the actual army value here, but something you don't want to happen when uh, you're up against Nurgle is for them to get super ahead in victory tickets. It is very easy for them to defend one point. Two points, they can still, you know, it can be a bit of a struggle, but one point, it's basically impossible. So right here, we're trading. They're taking a point 
one away from me, but I'm still going to get point three over here. Literally just two Nurgling units. Like, it's nuts. Their capture weight is crazy. And I don't think they're expendable at all, so when the next patch drops for Immortal Empires, they'll still have this weight. They're Vanguard, they're 34 speed, so it's not too shabby to get in there, and they can just really steal away points when they're that cheap. Those two are 700 gold combined, so... Super duper worth it there. I am bringing in some Pox Riders who have anti-infantry to really clear this out and secure point three because I can see point one is just a lost cause for me. I don't have any kind of reinforcements with the kind of speed to get on top of point one here. So, giving up on that one, but that's okay. All I need is two points for a little bit to keep a good lead. I've got my uh, Plague Bearers set on both sides. I really want to keep Slanesh out of the box if I can. Kugoth, I believe, is just hucking... Oh, I didn't even see that animation. He was just throwing things into the enemy over here. I've got a couple spawn. Sitting on point two, just as insurance. Here's another big fight around Nakari. These Barons uh, of Log are extremely ludicrous. Ooh, that damage, though, that was that was <laughs> juicy for Slanesh, I must say. But the Barons of the Bog, they take away bigger. They reduce your um, weapon strength and they still get that melee defense. They're so hard to remove, and they just debuff your lord. See, Nakari here is down to 33-9, and he's not... He doesn't have a spell or anything cast on him. He's basically useless. 208, I think that's because the wounds came in. Nakari's basically done here without a lot of support, which he is getting, but I don't know if it's going to be soon enough. He is just taking a huge hurt. We've got some spawn of Slanesh coming into point three. They're going to probably do fairly well into this engagement. Uh, Box Riders don't... I mean, they've got decently high uh, weapon strength, but they're not built to fight monstrous. I don't know exactly how well this fight is going to go. The thing that's important, though, is these Spawn of Slanesh are not going to be able to take away this point. I stopped them right outside of it, and even if they could get on the point, there's just too much capture weight over here. On the right side, I am now getting ready to take point one again because all that cavalry moved over to help Nakari, who did survive, just barely, though, by the skin of his teeth. I'm not sure what that... <laughs> he barely, barely survived. But over here in point one, I'm sending just a couple of Chaos Furies and Forsaken Chaos Furies to get rid of this last unit of Cav, and then... Ooh, it looks like we have the Bearings of Beguilement. I did not realize that that was the ROR Demonette unit. So that's going to be a bit tricky, but these two units are definitely going to pressure the Slanesh player to try and get back on point one. We are ahead in points, and that is feeling super good for us. Slanesh is on the clock. Looks like, looks like they've got a Cultus of Slanesh and another unit of Spawn. Coming into point three, Nikari is just barely, he's limping away from this fight. And uh, my group, I decided to take in to secure point three. Those two Spawn were just enough to actually start wading it back into my opponents. And as you can see, they are actually wiping the floor with these Nurglings. Um, Pox Riders aren't doing too hot either, so that's a pretty good engagement. That's something to note for Spawn of Slanesh. They can do pretty well into those two unit archetypes. I think we have, yep, some demonettes summoning. They're going to get on top of the Festering Stooges, which is A-OK -okay with me. The Festering Stooges are going to make their life pain. It looks like Kugoth was putting some pot shots on the trees. I think he's trying to shoot over them. They're just not connecting. They're not... They don't have a good enough arc. <clears throat> but I think I am putting down a Blight Boil. Yep, there we go. Just to try and get rid of these demonettes so I can get these Festering Stooges back on the point. I'm not too worried about this, but it is getting a little bit closer for comfort. Closer than I would when I, than I would prefer. So then I just doubled back over here. I'm bringing a couple, basically everything from point two, because he hasn't been contesting that at all. And it's pretty easy for me to re reinforce. All the way to try and contest point one. Um, I'm not too worried about point three over here, but the more I can get ahead of this Slanesh player, pretty soon here, I can just Helm's Deep on a single point. And that's really what I want to have the access to do. Uh, oh, I think... Dang it, I missed it. Nakari came out over here, and I sent Furies to fight him. I think Furies were what killed him. Because these Furies just came in and joined in. Nakari, I think, is anti-large. He's very good at taking out characters. But those Furies are just such a nightmare. And he was so low HP, he got sniped out here. And that really is putting the nail in the coffin for my opponent. He's got point one, but that is not enough. And there's nothing on the field here for him to just wipe any of these two points. Kugoth's sitting pretty on point two. He's used up pretty much all of his ammunition. He's spamming spells this that way, this way and that. And I've got a bunch of summons for Forsaken really doubling down to try and take point one. This game is basically over. There's nothing Slendus can do. If Nikari were still alive, maybe he would have a spell. There's a pretty good cast right here. He could just decimate this uh, this blob here, try to take point um, three. Point two is a lost cause. And then point one he could also try to hold, but 
Sl uh, Nakari, sorry, Nakari. Did I say Slanesh? Either way, Nakari is not here. So the options on the table for Slanesh are very, very few. And I believe this game is pretty much over. There should be a GG coming in soon. We'll just let it play from here for now. But again, as I was saying at the beginning of this video, I think the upcoming DLC is really going to change this matchup quite a bit. Slanesh is going to have access to some um, Archer Cavalry. Or maybe not Archer Cavalry. I think it's Javelin Cav. But that will really actually make it more difficult for me to get such good melee engagements and debuff with things like those uh, barons. I won't be able to get nearly as good matchups with just, just ludicrous amounts of debuffs. They can keep me at a distance, they can poke them away, and they will also have the armor to actually sit in sustained combat with Nurgle. At least they'll have the armor on the Warriors of Chaos and Chosen units. Now, for Nurgle, they're going to be getting armor piercing, which doesn't matter too much against Slanesh. Um, they'll get the armor piercing missiles, but more importantly, they will also get armor and great weapons. Neither of those things are really good against Slanesh. Slanesh is great at cutting through armor and doesn't have a lot themselves, so great weapons aren't a big boon for the Nurgle uh, roster. So I think when the DLC comes out, this matchup could change. For now, it really feels like Nurgle just overpowers Slanesh no matter what. Um, I'm sure there are games where that is not the case. Different players probably have better success than, than I would playing Slanesh in this matchup. Nakari definitely got a lot of value there. And these spawn definitely worked worked a lot of my units over. But just the amount of healing and the amount of staying power Nurgle has is too much for, for Slanesh to deal with. Giving them those ranged options and the armor to just kind of last longer, I think will definitely benefit Slanesh in the, uh, in the future for Immortal Empires. So... I mean, either way, I just wanted to kind of showcase this matchup. I enjoyed this battle a lot. It was pretty easy and laid back for me. Pretty soon here, I think I will have a couple battles where I actually lose um, because I'm not actually that great. I'm, I'm a decent player, but I meet my match quite often. So be, stay tuned for those. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.